In this video, I'll break down the process of creating a hand-drawn style animation. Hi, my name is Manuel. I'm a freelance motion designer bringing you fresh animation and motion graphics tutorials every week. Without any further ado, let's dive right in. Obviously, before even getting started, you need an idea. A simple line that morphs into an emoji, which then explodes. I wanted the animation to be in a handmade rough pencil on paper scribble style. So I thought I'd scribble at least part of it with a real pencil on paper. It makes the overall animation much more convincing. I scribbled short sequences of simple elements, all stuff I knew I could use in a lot of ways for the animation. And finally, I quickly created a texture. After scanning the stuff, I created a PSD file out of each sequence, each frame in a separate layer. Anyways, let's jump into After Effects. First, let's have a look at the scribbled texture, which I used for the face. This is the picture I scribbled. Four frames long, I created a sequence out of it by duplicating the layer a few times, Command D. Selected all of them, Command A, then went to Keyframe Assistant and clicked Sequence Layers. No overlap. For each clip, I changed the position and rotation a little bit. The texture solid needs to be a bit bigger than the comp to be able to rotate it. Let's have a quick look. Awesome. Then I pre-composed it by selecting all layers and going to layer pre-compose. Let's be good and quickly name the comp. Here we are in the new pre-comp, which now is inside our main comp. I duplicated the pre-comp and rotated it 180 degrees and set the mode to multiply. Which basically makes both comps visible. Then I created an adjustment layer, option command Y is the shortcut, and added curves. Drag the curve down a little bit to make the scribbles darker and more present. On top of that I added an orange solid, command Y, and set the mode to overlay to color the texture. Awesome! Quite a lot of scribbling going on. The texture I used in the background works basically the same way. Clips 4 frames long. Different position and rotation each time and an adjustment layer with curves to make it way brighter. 4 frames because we later reduce the frame rate to 12 frames per second. So the texture changes every second frame. The main part is a simple path animation. Stick around, we'll use some nice expressions along the way. Let's grab the pen tool. No fill, stroke color black, width 3 pixels. And with no solid selected, we draw a line. It starts here at the left, then turns into that circular shape around the center. Then we drag the handles to smooth out the form. It doesn't have to be perfect as it is hand drawn. Then we open the contents property of the path and add trim paths to animate the start and end point of the line. Add a keyframe at the beginning, set both values to zero. Then 13 frames in, we're at the slower curve here. And at 24 frames, the circle is closed. Let's have a quick look. Awesome! Then we stretch the line a bit, here, and here between the first two keyframes. Looks good for me. Most hand-drawn animations are done with 12 frames per second, so we add an adjustment layer on top of the comp and add posterized time to it. And reduce the frame rate to 12 frames per second. Alright, better already, but still much to clean. We need to make it look like a pencil stroke, so let's add roughened edges. The line is quite thin, so we need to be careful that it doesn't disappear. Set the border to 0.8, scale to 20, complexity to 6. As you can see, it looks much more like a pencil stroke now. Now we need to animate the evolution, so that the roughness changes each frame. Click on this little stopwatch while holding Option to add an expression. 
we use the time expression. Click into the expression field in the timeline and type in time multiplied by 3000 semicolon. Which means the evolution changes by 3000 degrees each second or 125 degrees each frame. Now we need to change the position of the line slightly for each frame. We open the position property by pressing P and add a wiggle expression. Holding option while clicking on the stopwatch. We type in wiggle, opening bracket 12, comma, 2, closing bracket. Meaning the position changes 12 times per second by 2 pixels, which perfectly fits to our frame rate. One last thing. To finish off, let's import the hand-drawn sequences. Command I is the shortcut for import. We choose the file. Import as composition retain layer sizes, which will keep the individual layer size and which creates a composition with all the Photoshop layers. I created little sequences out of them and added them to the main scene and changed the mode to multiply to get rid of the white background. With these elements, I basically created all the little details throughout the animation. The eyes of the emoji, for example, and the explosion at the end. If you like process videos like this one, let me know in the comments below. On the left side, I've added some videos you might like, so see you there. Subscribe to my channel on the right side and ring the bell if you want to know exactly when the next video is coming out. Thanks so much for watching. Hope that tutorial was useful for you all. See you in the next video. Bye!